One of the advantages of a safe and secure society is the availability of a level playing field for development. Apart from the peace of mind that it guarantees residents, every peaceful society stands a good chance of attaining meaningful development with effective security. The Ogun State Government understands the place of security in its mission to rebuild the state and has demonstrated this understanding with the measures that has been put in place to tackle insecurity. The Ogun State Government is given a holistic approach to issues of security by considering part of the root causes, one of which is unemployment. Since it came on board, the government of Senator Ibikunle Amusum has offered jobs to about 4,000 unemployed youths and is making plans to raise it to 10,000 in the shortest possible time. A new opportunity is being offered to those that desire to be self-employed through Bank of Industry loans. The First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Ulufuin Shoa Amusung, on her part and contributing to the success of the Amusung administration, has floated a free entrepreneurship training program for unemployed youths. By and large, the problem of unemployment is gradually being addressed in Ogun State. Facing the state of security squarely, the Ogun State Government set out to empower security agents in the state for effective performance. Indeed, he promised. Indeed, the rebuilding mission is in full swing. Senator Ibikule Amosu and his team have taken to the enormous task of rebuilding and transforming Ogun State. Yes, flagging of free education in government schools, 100 blocks of classrooms, provision of instructional materials for pupils and students, free healthcare services for pregnant women, children under 5 and the aged, renovation and equipping of 50 primary healthcare centers, artificial limbs for those in need, employment generation on course. Also, local, state and federal roads being rehabilitated and reconstructed. No doubt, our environment is fresher and healthier. Truly, the feeling is good. Adequate water supply, industrialization, dispute resolution and curbing security challenges. Truly, Senator Ibikule Amosun is keeping his promises. Indeed, the mission is in motion. Amogun, Isheya. Since the assumption of office, the Ogun State Government has taken conscious and calculated steps to secure the state for its citizens and the business community. These steps started with the empowerment of the Vigilante Group through the Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs. Vehicles and motorcycles that will aid security activities at the local government levels were provided and distributed. Afterwards, and with the approval of President Goodluck Jonathan, Additional security forces were deployed to Ogun State to complement the existing ones. A combined security troop was therefore formed and codenamed Operation Mesa, a complementary outfit to the Quick Response Squad already in place. The security initiatives were taken further with the passing of the Security Trust Fund Bill by the Ogun State House of Assembly. Following passage of the bill, the Governor, Senator Ibikunle Amosu, launched the Ogun State Security Trust Fund. For the takeoff of the initiative, security vans and other security equipments were purchased and commissioned to equip the task force. But then, Governor Amosu stated that there were further plans by his administration to keep Ogun State even safer. In addition, the state government has ordered for immediate delivery. We have actually paid for them. Third armored personnel carriers to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of the team. We reckon that when the joint military police patrol become fully operational, we'll be needing a lot of money, probably in excess of between two and three hundred on a monthly basis, to do our control room, monitor them, do everything that will secure lives and property particularly even our business concerned that are in Ogun State on a monthly basis. Even talk about having in some strategic places security cameras, not just CCTV, the way he described it. So a lot of things that he has said. So at any time, the whole of Ogun State must be covered. Communication is very key. Without it, even when you said you have security, nothing can happen. 
to support the security task force, a fundraising session was organized. Governor Musun led the fundraising and was supported by business concerns and organizations. <laughs> The Ogun State Security Trust Fund Committee was thereafter inaugurated to oversee the judicious use of funds realized from this. On behalf of the board, I would like to thank you for the quality of persons you have chosen to serve. Since the launch of the outfit, several organizations and corporate bodies have demonstrated their interest to support this initiative of the state government. The Ogun State Government, on its part, however, is not waiting for the response from stakeholders. It has taken the bull by the horns. Outside the Security Trust Fund, the Ogun State Government purchased 13 Armoured Personnel Carriers, or APCs, 127 additional patrol vans, as well as other security equipment to further equip the Quick Response Squad and thus beef up security in the state. Six out of the 13 APCs arrived the state on the 17th of April 2012. Upon arrival, Governor Amusun and some of his cabinet members went round to inspect them. So we went for what I call a security show and uh, two was actually brought to that uh, show. And those are the two. You see Pittsburgh on it, the two. Probably was ordered by one state from the U.S. And we got in. And we are the first in the entire world that will be having this. But of course, probably a lot of people will be ordering it now. With the arrival of the armored personnel carriers, the Ogun state government officially commissioned the newly acquired security equipment. The event had in attendance top government functionaries at all levels of government, heads of security outfits, including the acting inspector general of police, traditional rulers, captains of industry, as well as other major stakeholders. <laughs> At the occasion, Governor Ibikunle Musun mentioned that Ogun State purchased the security equipment in order to be a step ahead of the criminals and criminality. As a government, we must be able not only to match, but actually surpass the technology progress and intelligence behind criminality. The purchase of this armor personnel carrier, APC, is a step in that direction. Let me add that a total of 13 APC has been procured, as we will soon take delivery of the remaining. Uh, I think we have two now that, as we speak, is being cleared at the uh, international airports in Lagos. All of these that I care, because I need to mention this, the state is known for many firsts. What we are witnessing today is another first. Nobody had this APC that we are displaying today. This is the first of its kind anywhere. He acknowledged the assistance of President Goodluck Jonathan in approving duty waivers on the armored personnel carriers. By this question, the President has shown once again that he's resolute and committed to matters of security in and around the country. He, however, explained that ensuring security is beyond just acquiring equipment, but included taking measures to improve the socio-economic situation in the state. This, he said, will create employment and thus stamp out crime and criminality. The governor further disclosed that Ogun State has embarked on the security mapping of the state into zones and will collaborate with neighboring states to ensure patrol of all highways and border communities. Finally, Governor Amusu called on individuals and organizations to support the drive in the development of Ogun State and reminded them to give their donations to the Security Trust Fund. The purpose of this is to create an avenue for private individuals and organizations to support the government in tackling all kinds of security challenges in the state through sourcing for resources and efficiently deploying such resources to achieve the objectives of a safe and secure environment. 
I call on all our people, individuals, organizations, to do, corporate organizations, to donate, donate generously to this fund. It is noteworthy that while our administration has since inception invested about four billion of security, we are yet to touch a cover of the security trust fund. Speaking, the Acting Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Abu Bakr, noted that Ogun State has set a good standard as the first state to acquire security gadgets of such standard in the country. I have done police job in every place and ends of this country. I have served six geopolitical units in this country. So I can see there is no state in this country investors foreign investors and Nigerians alike to come to Ogun State and do what they are supposed to do. According to the Acting Inspector General, this action is a commendable one that is worthy of emulation by other states. He added that at the national level, all would be done to ensure security of life and property in Nigeria. We are aware of the fact that the daunting challenges of this situation in this country. But I want to assure every Nigerian we have the support of Mr. President and we have the support of the people of this country. And we are willing to change and give service to the people of Nigeria and safety and security will be guaranteed. Afterwards, the Acting Inspector General, accompanied by Governor Amusun and traditional rulers, commissioned the security equipment. To the glory of God and service to humanity, to the people, good people of Ogun State and Nigeria at large, I commissioned this security equipment. God bless it. A total of 127 patrol vans and six armored personnel carriers were commissioned to equip the Quick Response Squad and the Joint Police Military Task Force codenamed Operation Mesa in Ogun State. The state-of-the-art vehicles already have telecommunication gadgets and other necessary equipment embedded into them to aid quick response to distress calls. While going round to inspect the equipment, the Acting Inspector General sounded a note of warning to security agents that might want to take undue advantage of the empowerment. Any lawlessness by any member of the team, no matter what uniform you wear, you must be civil, you must be committed, you must be dedicated. Adding color to the event, Governor Amusun the Acting Inspector General, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, and other top officials drove the APCs around. The height of the event was the military stunts that demonstrated how the equipment would be put to use. As the local government level that is closest to the grassroots, Local government chairmen and royal fathers at the event noted that the state government has taken the expected steps and their people no longer have cause to fear. I commend the state government for this major step in equipping the police in various ways, the APCs, the patrol vehicles, even weapons, communications gadgets, and so on and so forth. I think if we had been doing this on a continuous basis, our state would not have become a place where the armed robbers laid siege on the citizens. It shows to confirm the commitment of the state government to the uh, security, consciousness to the security of uh, the people of Ogo State. I think uh, it's a good omen and it's a welcome development issue of uh, the state of State.
My local government shares border with uh, Oyo State and uh, um, some part of it leads, some roads le uh, leads to Kutonu and neighboring countries. So um, immediately this one is done, we are, we will be happy and we will, I mean, our expectation is that uh, those loopholes that uh, the robbers are using to influx into our to our state would be blocked. Representatives from the federal level considered it a good initiative for states to take up security responsibilities and called on the security outfits to ensure proper maintenance of the equipment. Speaking from their wealth of experience, the heads of security agencies in the state say the equipment provided was enough to scare away hoodlums, but that the citizens also have roles to play in giving security agents information when required. Certainly the equipment vehicles are bound to enhance the, the performance of the security agencies. So they should look forward to safer period. But again, they should equally be ready to play their part, volunteer information and uh, inform the security agencies of activities and presence of hoodlums. Before now, once the robber starts to rob in any bank, there is no way a patrol vehicle can go there and stop there to be suicidal because they will just rain bullet on there. But with the APCs, once even if the bank has started robbing, definitely the APC will enter into them and then they will dislodge them and get rid of them. There's no doubt about that. It is cooperation that is needed from the people. Let them cooperate. Whenever they see something bad is happening, and where we used to say neighbor to neighborhood. So whatever they see something wrong, they should call us and we will be there for them. According to some state officials, what has been done so far to boost security in Ogun State has been done from government coffers and not from the Security Trust Fund. And citizens should expect drastic reduction in robbery cases as there was no room for criminality in the state. Our people should expect increased policing and um, a sharp, a sharp decline in the crime statistics. We know that, and we do not deceive ourselves, no society can be 100% um, secure. 